And it did <laughs> You don't look so hot yourself. Look at that. Look look at you. Oh, the arrow was up. The arrow's right in your eye. You have one in your temple. Well, right under your temple. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Earshot. <laughs> okay, what was I doing before the creeper came and exploded stuff? Salad fork and somebody are knocking stuff outside. What? Oh, I was, uh, yeah, that's what I was doing. Doing the cha cha. We are nearly done. We're never done. With <laughs> with the uh, path. Yeah, that means we could actually upgrade. Wait, no, then we got to lay all the torches out. Yep. That shouldn't be too difficult, though. That's just randomly placing them everywhere. <laughs> yeah, then we have to stand in the center of town, wait for night, and see if anything spawns. <laughs> yeah. I need stairs. There are One, two, two in three, the chest. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Uh, not anymore. Oh. <laughs> I need sixteen. Here's a question for you. Why do people with the OCD on Minecraft, okay, they get so mad when the blocks are off or it's mismatched or you're using cobblestone because it's ugly, but that they uh -huh. run around using the wrong tool for the wrong job? <laughs> yeah. They hit monsters with picks or dig stuff with picks that are like gravel or they yep. don't use a shovel when mining, when getting dirt. Yep. They use their fist. But that's, but that's fine. But the building's yeah. off by one block, and you have to tear it down and do it all over. Contradiction. <laughs> I'm very, 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 very anal about tools. I don't <laughs> want to use a. I, I'm 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 hating myself just for getting that piece of dirt with this pick. <laughs> yeah. I just did a little bit of this. I have to use the proper tool for the proper job when I play Minecraft. Misplaced blocks, not a problem. You know, mismatch. Oops, I'll just repair. It's not going to bother me. Tortures are off alignment. Not really going to bother me. I'll fix it. Not not a big deal. I don't have the proper uh, proper tool for the job, and it bugs the hell out of me. I don't have a shovel. I don't want to get the dirt or the sand. Yeah. I don't have a sword. I don't want to stand there and punch the zombie to death, you know. Right. It, the proper tool is always important. Yeah, it, and when, we, when you very first start the game and you're told to punch the wood... It bugs yeah. the hell out of me. I want <laughs> yeah. Of course, and then people people wig out because they're like, no, the first tool you should make once you have wood is a wooden pickaxe, and that's it. And it's like, why? Because you want to get more wood. Yeah. Get an axe. <laughs> yeah, that's my logic. And they're like, no, because then you immediately go get stone. Well, okay. But what about the wood that you need? <laughs> well, you've already gotten wood because you need you needed to make a wooden pickaxe. Uh huh. Well, no, I mean even more wood for torches mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Well, it's like the only wooden tool you ever will need is a wooden pickaxe because then you go straight for stone. And my thing is, okay, but don't you need a wooden shovel then to get the dirt out of the way and a wooden axe to get more wood so you can make more tools and torches? Technically, no. All you really need is one block for the crafting bench, one block for the sticks, no, you, you and know, then well, yeah. yeah, one one wood, and, yeah. and then and then yeah, one wood block for the uh, pickaxe. So you only really need 
three wood blocks to start off with, because then you can get stone and transfer everything to stone, but what's the point if you're not near easily accessible stone? Well, the thing is, is that it's like, okay, we'll just punch the dirt to get to the stone, and it's like... <sighs> it was bothered the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah. Make a drill. Where's your jetpack? Punch you in the face. <laughs> I want to make a meme. I gotta find the proper pictures to make a meme. And the meme is gonna be awesome because it's gonna be make a jetpack, and it's gonna show somebody blowing up another person, going, "Here's your jetpack." Hello. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I gotta make it before this episode airs. <laughs> Crossing is so complicated, yo. So complicated. Uh, okay, so my brother has Animal Crossing. He's had it for a couple months now. And you know how you played the original Animal Crossing, right? Okay. Yeah. So you know about Nook, the raccoon, and his shop. Yes. And if yep. you spend so much money and have certain requirements, the shop will upgrade. Yes. Okay. Well, in this one, it does. It upgrades from the that sh the little thing to a uh, mini mart to a like Seven Eleven to a grocer, then to a department store. Okay, in, in this one. Okay. Okay, but besides purchasing so much money, there are also two other requirements in the new leaf: enough t time to pass since the last upgrade, and, and another thing along the way. So. There's um, the current store that my brother has uh, is the TIY, and I don't know what it stands for. I think it's Tom and something. I don't know. The T it's TIY, I think, is what it's called. But it's like a regular a grocer. The last one is the department store. My brother has had that department store for a long time. Now there's a key thing that allows you to unlock certain things like uh, the, the the golden shovel, um, uh -huh. which allows you to plant money trees, um, and uh, more, more items to purchase and other things like that. Uh, but to unlock it, the requirement is spend a hundred thousand bells, the currency, in the store. Have the store in the current upgrade over twenty days. Now here's the one that really pisses everybody off, because I was I was looking online. You have to you have to be be accepted. You know Gracie the giraffe, the fashion diva? Yes. Okay. She has to accept your fashion. You have to get the approval <laughs> of Gracie four times, okay? Now here's now here's the kicker. My brother has never seen Gracie in his town. Wow. Okay. That's fucked up. <laughs> I looked online to see if there is something to unlock her. It is a random event. Wow. To find Gracie, because once you do that, the department store will then upgrade, and Gracie opens up a shop in the department store. And sells really kick-ass, black, epic item furniture. Oh, I, I can't wait to get this furniture. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Better than the Regal set. Um... Okay, you must be digging underwater because I just started to lag a little. Nope. That was weird. Um, placing blocks. Anyway, um, so I was looking on the forums and stuff about this, and everybody's mad because it is a random event. Gracie yeah. will sh randomly show up at your town square, which is 
It's a it's a location where you plant a tree when you first start and become mayor of the town. Right. And the tree will grow over time. But you huh. know, events like Red the Fox uh, will show up there, or Katrina the the fortune teller, hmm. uh, on certain days of the week, for their events. Right. But Gracie will be there randomly, and you have to get her fashion to four times, to accept four times. So you, a random event four times? Yeah, pretty much. Wow, that would make me bad too. But uh, I was reading about it, and this one person said she, they didn't get her for months. Yeah. Um. And uh, this other person said that the fashion thing does not have to be done with just one person. Apparently, you can have multiple people living in the living in the same on the same game card in the same town. You can have multiple people living in the same town, multiple players on the same game, right. game card, but only one of them can be mayor. Yeah. And each player can count towards the fashion check. <laughs> so you should make, so I'm like, okay, maybe I should make three other people in my game and just get them. Yeah, all, all, exactly. The only thing I do, send them a specific outfit to wear when Gracie appears, and that's it. Yeah. Because putting all that effort into the game... And then... A lot of effort. Oh, God. Spending all that money to upgrade the house and catching all the fish and bugs each month. I'm sorry. I'm not going to go through that on multiple characters. <laughs> yeah. And I hate the way my map spawned on my city. You actually can re-roll the map the way the map layout is when you first start. Mm-hmm. Uh... I was, I was, I skipped a couple. I'm like, oh, no, this is good. This is good. I looked at this. I looked at one. And I'm like, oh, this looks kind of nice. I hate it. <laughs> the stupid river sucks balls. Lol. Where the river is positioned, oh, it's so. Uh, and I'm so far in the, in into it now that I don't want to start over. Right. Because I've caught, I've, I've caught all the seasonal insects so far. I've caught so many fish. I've almost completed all the all the uh, fossils in the um, museum. I've unlocked KK and and the nightclub and uh, so many things. And I'm like, oh, I've had like a few million bells. My house is almost completed, fully fully yep. completed. Just like, oh. That's how they get you. Uh, I don't know. I want to punch it in the face. <laughs> the big game. Ah, but you know what? I think I'll do. Is if anybody wants my dream code to be able to see what my town looks like, I can share that. Just send me a message on, uh,. On YouTube or on Facebook or tw uh, yeah, not Twitter, on Facebook or YouTube <laughs> or Twitch. Send me a message on there, say that you want my dream code, and I will post it for you. That's kind of cool. The dream code option, what it does is, once you've unlocked the dream dream suites, it allows you, if you have the code, to access people's towns that have been uploaded to the dream servers. Uh -huh. And and what it does is allows the player to be in a dream state, go to this town, but not actually do anything to it. So people yeah. can see towns without actually, you know, griefing <laughs> them or anything like that. Yep. Which is really cool. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I needed stairs. Of course, this episode won't go out until January, so. Yeah. We Love. can always talk about New Year's. <gasps> New, Year's. New Year's! Well, actually, yeah, this will... 
probably be right before New Year's. Be the uh, 29th. Oh my god, you got Unless an we've gone another you. hour. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> well, they're your army. Control they're them. They're not the Legion, they're just undead dumbasses. Oh. <laughs> they're not good enough for no, the Legion. they're mindless dumbasses. The Legion at least have brains. Yep. And it made me chop down my, 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 whatchamacallit it. Oh my god, more Lull. spawn! Lull. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Zombie face! Mr. Mumbles. <laughs> Oh, good. Mob briefings at home. <laughs> I heard that. I, 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 I can usually run and double smack Creeper and then hit him yeah. one more time to kill him with an iron sword. Yeah. This time, nope. I double smacked him <laughs> and it's still too close. And... Nice. Alright. All that's left to do is make the actual part of the gate. Gate hole. And for that, we will simply do <laughs> this. The gate hole! <laughs> no, that... <laughs> it reminded me of my... my... My verbal slip when I was talking about Assassin's Creed. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> It was pretty funny. Was. <laughs> and now everybody's like, what was it? What was it? What was it? Well, sorry, it's right. politically correct for me to say it on the video. Lol, you lose. Oh, uh, what else did I need? Ah, a door. I got this area pretty well lit. Good. Alright. Once I put the door in, we'll be done with the gate. Hiya! Okay, gate's done. Yay! It's just a door for now? Yeah. Until we can use redstone and then I'll make it fancy, fancy pants. Okay. <laughs> you have an arrow sitting out the front of your face again. And out the back. <laughs> yeah. Now look, watch. Can you see this? Oh, kill him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is we're down to the last little bit here. Yep. We get rid of this, light it up, and then we can move no, on. No, we gotta finish the wall. The walls? Oh yeah. Because we pulled this away, the walls no longer finished. Actually, I can start working on that. Oh god, there's a hole. <laughs> you may need to pick up blocks, though. Brick. Eh, no, we should have enough. I think you left us plenty to work with. I can't wait until we build the inn. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. So are we making a house house for us, or what? Like, a house yeah, house? Yeah, like a real house, or... 
Is that what we have now is just kind of... We could live in the inn. <laughs> we could. Yeah, I think we should. I Well, I'm not sure if that counts as a community building or a house. I don't think it counts as a house. I think that uh, counts uh -huh. as a community building. Which we'll have to make next... Uh, Next stage, though. So. Right. Um, I suppose we could just remake Make the house. a real house. Yeah, right. instead of a box with rooms. Yeah. Yep. Make a mansion. And we don't have enough room for my grand old mansions. I always overdo the size of the mansions. <laughs> That's okay. We'll I mean, think about the kite tail server mansion that I made. Yep. Oh God, we, I never even yeah, got to we have, that one. Yeah, we we have room for here, between the gate and the stable. There's enough room for it. It was a sixty-four it. by six, uh, a sixty-four by sixty mansion. Hmm. I think we do have enough room. And it was a rectangle. A rectangle. I want to make a house that looks like a house. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can do that pretty easily. Yeah, grab the other stone brick and we'll finish the wall. Oh, I'm going to have to go down even one more level. Yeah, to put in the dirt. So annoying, yeah. <laughs> hey, at least it'll be done. I know, right? <sighs> that's one thing that get the, 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 the that's about Minecraft that gets my repetitive work. Is the digging out to, to put buildings there. When you start uh -huh. a new game or a new map, or you have multiple maps, you have to do it over and over. You always have to find a flat land. Well, there are some people that I know that like using the actual feature, the land, to their, you know. Uh-huh. But yep. you have to do the same thing over and over. It's like, okay, now i got to build a house. First, okay, starting on this map, i got to collect wood. Cool. I got wood. Now I will build this house. So I build this house. Now I need a storage room. Okay, now i got a storage room. Now I need to start getting tools and armor. Then you turn around and go, okay, now now I got to do, now I'm going to go play on this map. Oh, it's a new map. Yeah. Now I've got to do what I just did on the last map again. <laughs> yeah. And then when you're a live streamer or a YouTube star, and you do that five times a day, <laughs> yeah. you kind of just want to take Minecraft, crumple up into a little ball, and throw it into a trash can. <laughs> It's not that bad. It can be when it gets redundantly repetitive. But your eyes start melting because <laughs> you're sick and tired of seeing stone blocks. Yeah. Yeah. And hearing the... That's the thing that gets me on Terraria. Is the sound of mining. Oh yeah. my god. It's so freaking loud. <laughs> Even when you turn it down, uh, my sounds on the live stream are at 30. And it's uh -huh. still so freaking loud. Lol. I don't mind it that much. Uh, once you. Once. Uh, if I can zone it out, it's not a problem. But when I'm playing yeah. alone, or not with live streaming it, or... Don't have background yeah. music or somebody else talking. Exactly. It's like what Chinese water torture. The drops hitting you in the forehead. Bump, <laughs> bump, yeah, bump, yep. bump, and then it gives me a headache. Yeah. And once I've got a headache, I don't want to play any more video games. I just want to crawl, right. crawl in the ball and die. Yep. Oh god, 
I was just thinking about New Year's and New Year's resolutions. Oh. Yeah. Who actually follows through what? on their New Year's resolutions? Some people try hard to. I make them and then break them. I've never them. made them and I don't break them because I never make them. Because <laughs> I know I'll never follow them. Yeah. Because I think they're the top two number one resolutions are to get more healthy and to lose weight. And the third one after that is to quit smoking. Uh-huh. Those are the top resolutions that, I believe people make. That makes well, sense. I don't smoke, I already quit. <laughs> I'm fat and I know it. And I can't get rid of it because I can't work out because I'm disabled. So those resolutions don't are null and void for me. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, you don't have to do a standard one. You could be like, this year I'm going to treat monkey butt like a princess. And you could do that because you already do. So, ta-da. Then what's the point in making the resolution if I'm already going to do it? I don't know. Feel good about yourself for actually falling through? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pickaxe broke. Lol. I don't feel like going back and getting it. I'm going to just dig dirt. <laughs> I'll make you some pickaxes when I get back inside. Yeah, resolution is supposed to be something that you're going to challenge yourself to do. Not something that you have already planned to do and are doing. Supposed to and actuality, very different. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make attainable New Year's resolutions. That way I'll feel good about myself when I complete them. I mean, I, I, I've always wanted to see... I cannot do, like... I was going to challenge myself and go, okay, I'm going to do a 24-hour live stream. Well, I can no longer do that. My age, my health, my mental standing, I don't know what it is, but I can no longer stay up longer than... than, than you know, I can't stay up more than 20 hours. I, I just... Yeah. I literally cease to function right around the 15-hour mark. And I yep. used to be able to stay up for days on end playing World of Warcraft and stuff. I just yeah. I don't I don't know what happened. Age, man, age. It happened. Yeah. That's all it really is, too. Oh wait, oh I, that's one. That's a broken pick. Darn it. Oh well, it's almost broken. I got a few for you. Okay. Um. And then I was thinking, maybe if I say, maybe my resolution could be, I will stream for two months straight. Not straight as in all the time, but I mean every day for two months. Right. But then I was thinking, well, what if something happens or it's an emergency, then I don't complete it. Or if I get sick. Right. Or I need to spend time with with uh, Death Dancer and Monkey Butt. Yep. You could always do like a personal goal, like, I will try not to get angry when dot dot dot. But see, I normally don't get angry. Normally and not ever are two different things. The thing is, is that what I get angry at is normal. And it's not like I get raging bull, throw tables at people <laughs> mad. I curse and then I let it be. And then I'm done. And I'm fine. Yep. So, so the resolutions and stuff that are things that I could do are not really things that are that qualify for a re resolution, you know? Yeah. Well, you could also say that you'd start following a set or uh, a more set schedule. I tried that, and then and then it started making people unhappy. Really? Uh, personal people. Yeah. And I can already see it doing it again. Now that I'm streaming on a regular basis again, it's hurting. I can. I think it's hurting the relationship between me and Death Dancer. I mean, she huh. understands that live streaming is my way of relieving stress and entertaining and doing my thing. 
uh, as right. you know, a lot of people like to read or knit or watch, you know, movies or go camping. Yeah, that's their release. Mine is live streaming and playing video games. Yep. I'd have to say that that's mine too. I mean, escape escaping into a virtual world where your your bows are no longer a main focus. You get to focus your mind and concentrate on what you're doing. It it takes a lot of strain off of me. And, you know, I mean, that's something right now that I need after dealing with all my health issues and all that other garbage. Yeah, definitely.